What is up everyone? It's been a hot minute. But I'm back. It's definitely been a while since I filmed. <gasps> is that better? Might be a little better. I got a little bit done. So I took a little hiatus. Whole coronavirus thing. I don't really get into or care about. I stopped watching the news. That just, duh. I just, between worrying about whether to spend money on parts and whatever not working and then <clears throat> working this and that everything I don't know I just kind of went ghost for a little bit but I'm back and I got the front bags on the S10 so that's exciting just because I did something I got out of the house and I did something that's what I needed to do so yeah on a side note, the motor, which is under here, I got the crank in with the bearings. The pistons, those are stock pistons. The rebuild kit sent me pistons for a Honda 2 liter, 2 2, I don't know. I don't know what it was for. All I know is the pistons were would not work. So I had to send them back. And with the way shipping is going these days, because the world is in mass chaos, I don't know when I'm going to get them. Hopefully I get them soon, because I need to get that motor semi back together. That way I can put it back in there. So I got the drop spindles. Um, I got all brand new control arms because the other ones were rusty, they needed bushings, they needed ball joints. I've done it before, it is the worst thing ever. You gotta burn out and cut out everything and then you gotta try to get it back in and it just sucks. I was gonna go with Michigan Metalworks flat plate arms but with everything going on the I mean, the budget ones are, I think, 600 bucks, which isn't bad. And uh, more of a long-term project, if I go further with this truck, I will probably do something like that. But I got the stock control arms. I got all brand new stock control arms that came loaded with the ball joints and the bushings. Brand new metal. So I had to dehump the arms. And all you mini trucker guys, all you S10 guys that have begged trucks, know what I'm talking about. So you got to go through and basically there is a hump here and here that you got to flatten off. So I did that. So much better using brand new metal brand new parts and you just just hack them off so much fun I love it so that's what I did hacked it off and guess what to weld this on is gonna be so nice because it's not rusty and everything and it's gonna turn out good so that's what I'm gonna do so I gotta weld these up to continue what I am doing weld them up I gotta paint the spindles because you know spindles always come without any paint on and if you don't paint them they get all rusty and weird and nobody wants to see that so I got to paint the spindles um, I got the wheels for the front I don't know if I'm gonna show them yet if you follow me on social media to be honest I don't even know if I've posted them I don't think I have snapchat I have but 
You might have, whatever. I need to get paint for them. Yes, I have to paint them. That might give it away. Whatever. They're steel. I gotta paint them. Anyway, I have to paint the wheels. Uh, I'm getting some paint. While everything's out of the front, I am gonna sand down and not really do anything, basically just sand down and paint the firewall just so it looks new because I'm there, so I might as well do it. So yeah, so I gotta get the paint for the firewall and the wheels. I feel like that gives it away a lot about the wheels, knowing that I'm painting the wheels and the firewall at the same time. Whatever. You'll see it soon. Yeah, I'm rambling. I'm rambling too much. I shouldn't ramble. It's been a while. It's been a while so I can ramble. That's where I'm at. Anyway. Yes. So, I'm going to get to work. I don't know when this video is going up. I'm going to get the paint probably tomorrow. Do you want to see this video right now? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to get to welding. I'm going to get to painting. Do a little body work. Do a little smoothie smooth. Let's get to work. Need to pull it out, pull the bed, turn it around, back it in. My eyes are a little messed up. But this side, all the bolts came out. This side, the one bolt that's right about here, there's always got to be one. I'm pretty sure it broke the clip up in the bed mount and now it just spins, so I gotta cut it off, which is awesome. But everything else is off, so all I gotta do is get round up a couple people, get the bed off, spin her around, back her in, start fabbing up the old four link, three link. So that'll be for the next video, but. For this video, I got the front suspension done. There's not the tires I'm going to be running on it. These tires are way too tall. 
they're the stock wheels. I got 17s for it, so I'll be running a lot smaller, about a 24 and a half inch tall tire instead of the stock 28 inch tall tire. So yeah, that's the front end. So stay tuned for the next video when I flip the truck around, back it in, get her all leveled up and everything. Then we're gonna start cutting it apart, getting the old sucker on the ground. <laughs> And then, in the meantime, I still got to do put the motor together. So, that shall be fun. I need to order a whole bunch of parts. Uh, what do I need? I want to get a water pump, get the alternator, either a new one or tested. Motor mounts. I'm going to need an oil sensor, oil pressure sensor. I need a new starter. I want to get a head bolt for it, tensioner belt, maybe an oil pan, depending on how rusty it is. I don't know if it's still good or not. So, yeah. But I can still get the rest of it put together. That way we can get the sucker set in, start getting it wired up, and get a new core support for it because the old one is way rusted out and start doing a little body work. I don't know when I'm going to paint it. might not do it right away, but I do want to get the firewall done while I got everything apart. So, that's way other videos. But, for now, front end's done. That's what this video is, I think. It's been going on for a while. Yeah, a long while. Anyway. Stay tuned for more videos, because I'm back at it. It's warmer out. I don't like the cold, hence the reason videos haven't came up. So stay tuned. You know what to do. Until then, have a good day.